Okay, hello cloud gurus. Well, we're calling it multi-cloud May around here with all the gurus hard at work rolling out new series and courses across AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud to deliver on our mission to teach the world to cloud. I'm Sam Kroonenberg, CEO and co-founder of iCloud Guru, and I wanna show you some of the cool new things that our awesome team have been working on for you. First up, a cool new ACG project, Mission Impossible Database Recovery the AWS Way. In this project, some malicious hackers have corrupted and deleted the databases that keep gravity working here on Earth and keep us firmly on the ground. Now you have to defeat the hackers by recovering all the databases. It's a really great, exciting way to get more hands-on experience with RDS. Now recently, the gurus descended on Google Next at San Francisco. I was there, it was a whole lot of fun. At the conference, Google made their pitch to enterprises. They had a big focus on enabling hybrid cloud and multi-cloud scenarios. If you missed the conference, Google guru Matthias Anderson has you covered with daily recaps from each three days of the conference. These three special episodes are nestled nicely into our newly launched series, GCP This Month which will provide ongoing coverage of all new things Google Cloud has to offer. Now, what's cool about GCP this month is that our host, Julian Pittis, breaks the episode into three sections. First, we've got Quick Bytes, which are rapid fire updates on new releases from Google. We've got GCP Gems. These are our hand-picked ACG releases that you should know about. And then we've got Guru of the Month, because who doesn't like winning swag for knowing things and getting questions right? And while we're on the topic of GCP, we have a new machine learning course on GCP's BigQuery. Learn how data scientists and machine learning engineers move their large data sets to BigQuery without ever having to worry about scale or administration. Since Google is known for their rich data analytics, mastering GCP's data suite gives you some seriously sought after skills in the tech industry. And we round out our Google chapter with an ACG project to give you hands-on experience actually building things in Google Cloud. In this ACG project, create serverless functions to process and filter updates and harness GCP's machine learning API to judge if images are safe for work or not safe for work. It's a pretty cool real world example. And speaking of not safe for work, Lars gets cozy in our new series, Azure Fireside Chats. In this series, Lars sits down with the movers and the shakers from the Azure world to learn more about what's new and what's exciting in the Azure space. Along with Azure Fireside Chats, we have also launched a new advanced Azure certification course, AZ301, Microsoft Azure Architect Design. If you're responsible for translating business requirements to technical solutions, we highly recommend checking out this course. The knowledge that you're gonna gain from this course will be invaluable to any organization. This month, we put quiz and exam simulator results in your hands so that you can build data-backed transformation programs. As a business admin, you can use this information to know when a team member is ready to sit an exam or to be assigned maybe more freedom to build in your business's cloud environment. You can see a summary view or individual attempts in real time or even click into a student to see their individual results over time. It's pretty cool. And in the theme of giving admins more control, we've also added all AWS certifications to our study groups feature now. This allows you to easily group students by team or department and set training expectations by setting a deadline for completion. You can even easily share progress of all of your study groups with our nifty automated progress report PDF feature. Your teams will see their course and deadline in their dashboard so they'll know if they're on track, saving you time to have to email and follow up with reminders. If reporting is your thing, our reporting API is now ready to pilot. Just contact your customer success manager if you're interested, and you can now have access to all of the data in our admin portal to do whatever your heart desires. But out of all the updates, this next one is what I'm most excited about because at the end of the day, we're your champions and we want to enable anyone, anywhere to become a cloud guru. So this month, we launched Cloud Profiles. This is your unique page to highlight all of the hard work you've put into training at a Cloud Guru. Think of it as a data-backed cloud resume. You can share it with your boss to showcase your certifications, completed courses, and any training you've done. You could send it to a future employer as proof of your skills, or hey, you can send it to your parents to try to explain what it is that you do for a living. My hope is that you make your cloud profile something that you're really proud of and go and show off to the world that you are a cloud guru. This month, you should keep an eye out for the following courses. We've got AZ103, IPv6 on AWS, GovCloud, and we left out all the buzzwords. And for our popular AWS certified machine learning specialty course, 
we're gonna transition that from preview to full course availability. Don't worry, we're gonna let you know as all of this content launches. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and may the fourth be with you.